Imagine just for a moment a court appointed guardian taking complete control of every aspect of your elderly mom or dad's life. A complete stranger with the final say how their money is spent and health care decisions are made. The reality is sometimes it is necessary and sometimes the system is abused. ABC 7's Christopher Brantley joins us now with more about why State Senator Nancy Dieter is trying to bring accountability to a system that some claim is in desperate need of some change. Christopher? Well, good evening, Alan. This bill was written in response to a woman named Maurice London. She's 87 years old, and her daughter says she's facing an impossible problem. At this quaint picture framing store in Sarasota, you will find almost any frame of any size you want, and all of it can be custom made. It's all a part of the services you'll find with its owner, Julie London. London had not faced many challenges in life until one day in 2010, while visiting her aging mother, she noticed a strange credit card bill. And I thought, what is this? And then I showed my mom her credit card, and I said, did you authorize these charges? It turns out her mother, Maurice London, had sent another one of her children her credit card number for an emergency. According to Julie London, her sibling began stealing money from their mother. Julie reached out to the Department of Children and Families. And it appears that DCF just didn't do anything about it. So did DCF know that this was happening? I, yes, they came into my store, just like you're in my store, and I gave them all my documented paperwork. We're told DCF's suggestion was to bring in Lutheran Services Florida, a guardianship company. But Julie London disagreed. I think she needed help. She needed family help. According to London, contacting Lutheran Services resulted in a gut-wrenching nightmare where she was legally stripped of just about all of her rights when it comes to her mother's affairs. A series of meetings were held with counselors from DCF and Lutheran Services with Maurice London. However, her daughter, who is the power of attorney, was not notified. My mother did not get due process. I didn't get due process. So when mom's talking to these people, I don't think she knew who she was talking with. Her mother was ruled indigent, and a hearing was set before a judge to determine if Lutheran services should take over Maurice London's legal and financial affairs. Despite her attempts to, in effect, get custody of her mother, Lutheran Services was granted full access to Maurice London's home, finances, and person. For its part, Lutheran Services says, we believe guardianship should always be a last resort and minimized, since family members are the best option to take this role on when they can. In fact, we have trained hundreds of family members to be guardians over the years. When we asked Julie London if we could go and meet her mom, she said no. She told us she's afraid Lutheran services will see that as a threat and cut off contact between her and her mother. What happened after Lutheran services took over is hard to believe. Julie London told us they have complete and total control of everything, and their services are not cheap. And they charge, charge my mom $85 an hour. Every phone call I made to them say, what's going on with my mother? When's the doctor appointment? $8.50. Um, within three months' time, their bill was close to $7,000. Having gotten nowhere with a number of attorneys, Julie went to Florida State Senator Nancy Dietert. The senator, inspired by this story last year, introduced legislation to stop this from happening. I was pretty shocked at what our system is. I'm calling this bill the they took my mom and they won't give her back legislation. The bill passed the Florida Senate, but the House session ended before it could come up for a vote. Dieter told us there has been an 1,800 percent increase in fraud in this industry over the last 11 years. It was amazing to me that we, they could give you 24 hours notice, put your mom under guardianship, block you from visiting your mom, and take over everything having to do with your mother, including her medical care, her finances. With her days in the state Senate coming to an end, Dieter hopes to have her bill become a law, preventing this from happening in the future. Under this new legislation, we will have an office that regulates not only private uh, guardians, but public guardians both. Lutheran Services told us, quote, we take our role serious and have helped protect thousands of adults from abuse, neglect, and exploitation. We support any effort to strengthen and support this mission. In the meantime, Julie is still fighting for her mother, whose health, we're told, is failing. Julie hopes the added drama does not make a life so long lived come to a premature end. She was a happy person, and I have to keep her happy in this horrible situation. Now, it's important to note no one is accusing Lutheran services of fraud in this case, and Senator Nancy Dieter told us she feels confident this bill has the support it needs to become a law.
Christopher, thanks a lot.